Hello, this is Warlord. Let's take a look at the enhanced facial animation features. First, we'll take a look at the face puppet. And everything's improved because there's a lot more facial bones in there now. But with the face puppet, like under Natalie, and what we, of course, here where your different uh, facial controls, we'll preview. And you'll see that there's a little bit more motion. And of course, we can come over here and change that and make it a lot more. It all just depends on what you want to do. So the great thing is you can blend. So let's go ahead and just, I'm not going to say these are going to be fantastic motions, but let's go ahead and let's record a few. Just so we can see. I also had an idle motion on her. Okay, now we'll go back. Pick another one. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's pretty much the opposite. And what it's doing is blending those two together. And that's right here where it says blend data on next recording. So as far as doing it quickly, the face puppet is still the best way to do it. And of course, there's just a whole lot more bones to work with. Now, the face key in other system is something I've always liked to use. But you'll notice here now we have quite a few more points. And I mean a lot more points. Where now, we can change things quite a bit manually, which I've always liked. Now, you'll notice it, it has some new tabs, some new buddies. Expressions are here now. That part I really do like too. Uh, here's just a rough version of it. Start off happy. And of course, these are, uh, are at 100%. Just so you can see how they work. And there's a few. And you can just see right there how that works. And then, of course, you can modify it more if you want to, as you come up to one of them in particular. And so... They're giving us quite a bit more control. It just depends on how much time you want to take to do it. And that's just a couple of the systems. But the new, uh, new added facial bones are certainly welcome.